Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a vehicle spawner for your map um, or for your mod in general. Now there's a few steps that we need to do to get everything set up. Now I did um, set everything up beforehand to make the video a bit shorter, uh, but I'm going to be showing you guys um what do you have to do or all of the steps that you have to go through now one thing that you guys do need to do is you would need to have a protection zone and um i think it's the prep zone but most importantly the the protection zone now i do have a video on that so i would suggest you guys watch that first before this video because otherwise your vehicles will explode if your vehicles are not inside of a um inside of a uh, protection zone and then yeah so with that said uh, let's get to it so the first thing that you need to do is if you're in your main content folder of your mod you want to go into settings and now there's two folders that we are going to be creating so the first folder is called spawners and inside of the spawners folder you want to create another folder called vehicle and then inside here, you guys will see there's a few things here. We'll get to that in a minute. And now for the vehicle folder, in here, you'll make, uh, we'll go over this in a second. You'll make another folder um, for whatever your faction name is. If you have a custom faction, um, you'll name that folder that. So minus SNDF for South Africa National Defense Force. Uh, so this is my faction. And then in here is where all of your data assets will be for all of the vehicles that you would want on your map or in your mod. So I'm not going to be going over um, custom vehicles. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do it with the vanilla vehicles. Um, but we are going to be copying the blueprint for the vehicles into our mod folder. Um, so that if you wanted to customize... Um, that vehicle booper you can so um with that said let's go back to our settings folder or to our main folder and in here you guys will see i have another folder called vehicles also and in here i have a folder named um another folder named after my faction and in here is where all of your blueprints will be for your vehicles now as you guys can see i only have the matv here but if you do want to organize it a little bit better you can make individual folders for all of the individual vehicles that you'll have um but for now i'm just leave i just made mine like this so i can quickly show you guys what the end result will be and then um i'll show you guys um how to set everything up so So um, yes, let me just quickly create a squad and then quickly click confirm and spawn. And now it does take a few seconds for the vehicles to spawn. So let's just give it. Okay, so there you guys see this one, it spawned and you can get in and um, all of that stuff. So I just can't start the thing now because I'm in the staging phase, but everything should work. Um, so that all said... Let me quickly close that and now we can get started. So there's also a few things that we'll need to do in your faction setups, but um, let's quickly get the other stuff um, done first. And then when we get to the faction setups, we'll go over that. So first thing, once you've, if you've created your spawners folder in your settings folder, um, then once you go into the vehicles folder, in here we'll make a new data table called vehicle spawner table and as you guys can see i have the tm underscore in front of it that's just so that i know this is mine because otherwise you get confused with the vanilla files so uh, what you want to do is to create this data table you want to right click go to miscellaneous and then go data table and then this one is going to be if you click on the drop down you want to choose sq um vehicle spawner entry um so this one um and then once you have done that you can open it 
and in here you guys will see i have tm underscore ground any ground apz size ground car size and so this is basically just the different tags if i'm correct um because if you come over here and we quickly select this spawner over here you guys will see here this is what you choose here and then inside of let me quickly open the the car size quickly in here it's act it specifies what types of vehicles it can spawn um so that all said what i did is i did copy the vanilla of um data assets here so what you can do is so after you created your data table what you want to do is you want to create um uh, except for the tm in front of it you guys can put your mod name there underscore ground any and then when you create um or when you copy over the data assets you want to rename them according to wh what it's named in this data table and as you can see you don't have to fill anything in here um these are just simply here to um um i'm not exactly sure but um i just know this is how you have to do it so to get these um data assets you want to go into the vanilla content folder of the sdk and go into settings and then you want to go to spawners and then vehicle and in here you guys will see all of them are here now you only have to copy the air helo ground any ground apc size and then ground bike size ground car size and then ground quad bike size because you can see here there is a few more here so you can copy those over if you want to and then put them in your data table if you want to uh, but all you do is you just select all of the ones that you will need and then you drag them over and then say copy here and then you just go and rename them to whatever you call them in this data table here and then once you've done with that um you can then go in and edit these um oh well you do you have to uh but after you've renamed them and you have them in your mod folder here in your vehicles folder you want to go into each and one of them and in here where it says data table in here you want to now select your vehicle data um spawner table that we created here and then you want to click on this drop down and then set this to whatever uh, this data asset is so this is the air helo and then so i'm just gonna quickly i it's i see here i forgot to do it for mine so this is ground any and then ground apc size so remember to then set the data table to yours and then set the row name to whatever this data asset is called same for this one so this is ground bike size and then this one is car size like so and then this one is quad bike size okay so once you've done all of that um the next thing that we need to do is go back or into your settings folder because we're um so once you've done with all of these you, you you rename them and you went into them and then set the data table to yours and then set the row name according to uh, which data asset you're in and then once you've done that you want to go back and then in the settings folder you guys will see we created another folder called vehicles and then in here you can create another data table and this one is going to be called vehicle table so obviously you guys see i have the tm in front of there um uh, you guys will put in your bot name underscore vehicle table so to create this one you need to go to miscellaneous data table and then this one is going to be sq vehicle uh entry this one 
And then once you've done that, uh, you want to open it. And this is where you're actually going to specify all of the vehicles um, that you um, want in your, um, in your mod. So, um, as you can see here, I just have the MATV here. Um, now, for this tutorial, we're going to be creating a new one just for a, with a different version. Um, because for the MATV, you, you do get different versions of the MATV. So, if you have custom vehicles, uh, I'm not going to go over that. So, I'm just going to use the, the vanilla vehicles that's in the SDK already or in squad. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to click this plus icon here and then I'm going to quickly copy this name and then for this next row name i'm gonna make this the m240 i think that's what it's called oops uh, m240 just click spacebar and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna copy this name here oops i like so and then just put i'm just gonna put in a name here and then just name it like that obviously you guys will go through and name it however you want to but just remember this row name that you set here is um is the name that you have to name your data asset as well um so we'll get that in a moment so once you've done that um so once you've clicked the plus icon and filled everything in here um i'm just gonna copy this image here and then just apply it for this one as well okay like so and so now we have our second vehicle in our vehicle table so we can close that and in here you guys will see i have another folder named after my faction so what you want to do is you want to create a folder for your faction and then in here you guys will see here's my data asset for my vehicle so we're going to basically just copy this one well i'll show you guys how to create one so you want to go to miscellaneous data asset and then this one um let me just make sure this is the vehicle i need to make sure just give me one second That. okay so i think uh, just miscellaneous data asset and i think it's sq vehicle yeah it's just sq vehicle settings this one and then just click okay and then i'm gonna paste in the name whoops okay, let me just quickly go back to this one just and just copy this one's row name And then just name it after that. So just make sure you uh, name your data asset for your vehicle according to what you named it in the data table. And then after you have done that, I'm going to open this newly data asset when you create it. And then for the vehicle type, this is going to be a MRAP. And then vehicle tag, this is going to be a class medium. And then vehicle versions, this is where you can then create different versions um, of, of that vehicle. So I'm just going to use the desert and then uh, we'll set up the blueprint now in a minute. And then spawner size is going to be um, car. And then here where it says data table. This is where we're going to now select our vehicle table. I'm just going to search for mine and then select it there and then click on the drop down and check our um, new uh, the, the vehicle that we created just now. And then it will give us an error because we haven't set that on yet. So let's quickly do that. So what I'm going to do is so the next step after you've um set up your data as it here what you want to need to do or what you gonna have to do now is go into your main content folder of your mod create another folder called vehicles and then i think i showed you guys this in the beginning and then this is where we're gonna put our blueprint so what you want to do is i'm gonna copy 
um, the blueprint from the, the oh, I'm gonna copy the blueprint from the um, oh, from the I'm gonna copy the vanilla blueprints from the SDK. So what you wanna do is just go into the vehicles folder in the, when you're in the main corner folder of the SDK, just go into the vehicles folder. And then, depending on what vehicle you, you're going to copy, if you're not going to use your own custom vehicles, uh, you can choose any one. Uh, obviously, I'm showing you guys the, with the, um, obviously I'm showing you guys it with the MATV, but this should work with any of the vehicles. So I'm just going to scroll down until I see MATV here. And then I'm going to copy this M240, this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over. Like so, and I'm just going to rename this, so I know this is my, um, my custom blueprint. So obviously the TM uh, replaced that with your faction or your mod name. And then so once we've done that, all we need to do is go back to that data asset. And then on here where it says vehicle, we're now going to search for, I'm going to just type in TM and then it instantly pops up. Um, so obviously search for whatever you named yours. And I'm going to select it there and then I can click save. And now we're basically done with all of this. So you can close the data table as well. And so once you've done with that, the next thing that you need to do is go into your settings folder and then go into your faction setup. And then go into your SANDF um, or your faction folder. Um, so if you haven't or if you don't have a custom faction yet, I do have a video going over how to set up your own custom faction. So uh, that's also another video I would suggest you go watch first before this video. Otherwise, you'll have um, trouble following it um, completely. So... But anyways, um, once you're in this folder and you open your data asset for your faction, um, if you scroll down, mine is open already, but you guys will see there's a, um, a vehicles tab here. And in here you guys will see I already have my one vehicle set here already. So we're going to be adding a, another one. So I'm going to click on this plus icon here. And then I'm going to click the BPSQL available vehicle and expand this. And then for the setting, this is going to be um, what we created here. Let me just quickly go there. Hopefully you guys will just, you're still following me and you're not all confused. So uh, we're basically going to set um, this data asset that we created here um here so it knows what vehicle it is so i'm gonna search tm i'm gonna choose this m240 and then for the, the delay uh, you could just use the vanilla ones from the sdk so i just chose the delay apc light um now this whole vehicle spawner system can get a lot more complicated than what i'm showing you guys in this tutorial because um if i were to show you guys all of those things uh, the video would be very long and i'm just gonna um i just want to make the tutorial as basic as i can just to get you guys the general idea of how to set up a vehicle spawner um so once you've done that for the cost, you can just leave this empty. And then for the limit count, this is where you can actually then choose how many of these vehicles do you want to allow on your map to spawn. So I'm just going to choose this to one. And then um, I'm just going to change this back to one as well. Not four, one. Like so. And then that's it. Um, so once you've added it in here into your faction setup, 
uh, you're basically done we can now go to our map so whatever game mode um, you want to add your vehicles to I'm in a AAS gameplay layer that I also made a video on a while ago so um, all you need to do now is in here in all classes um, you need to search for SQ um, vehicle vehicle spawner this one this one here and then I'm basic I'm basically gonna drag one out here oops wait okay, I'm sorry this is actually the wrong one so what you want to do is you want to go into the main content folder of the SDK quickly like so and then go into gameplay where's gameplay there's gameplay and then um you just want to search for ah here it is vehicle spawner bp underscore vehicle spawner so you just want to drag this one out like so and now you guys will see it's still big because we haven't uh, configured it yet so once you've dragged it into your map you do need to place it inside of this protection zone like how you guys see i i did it and then in the details panel on the right here we're gonna basically now go to settings and then here where it says um, ground any we're now gonna um, set it to hours so i'm gonna search tm because that's what I named mine. Um, obviously, uh, whatever you named yours, um, just search for that. And then I'm going to choose car size because if I quickly go back to my settings folder here, into my spawners folder, vehicle, if I open my car size data asset here, you also see here it references the MRAP um, as you see here. So, um, so depending on what vehicle you want to spawn you want to make sure which of these to use um because inside of this um it specifies um what vehicles um it can spawn or what um like if you choose this if you set the setting here whatever it is ground car size for instance it will only spawn a, um, a LTV or or light tactical vehicles and AMRAPs. Um, but so once you've um, set it here, you don't have to do anything for the max number of spawns. You don't do anything in the specific vehicle. The only thing that you need to do is here for team, you need to put this to team one or whatever your faction um whatever um or oh, whatever size your faction is or well not size sorry um whatever side your team is on or your faction is on so obviously mine is team one uh, but if your uh, custom faction is in team two you just set this to uh, team two but mine is on team one so um you guys will see here i already have another one the other one here so all you need to do now is just click play and then um, we quickly test this out so i do have a the staging phase is on so we won't be able to drive around um but as long as the vehicle spawns uh, you guys should be good to go so it just takes it does take a few seconds for the vehicles to spawn so let's just give it a second Ah, there you guys go. So, um, here is our one vehicle, and here's the other one. Because you can see the, the gun on top bigger, because this is the 240, and then I think that's the normal 50 cal. And so, um, we can get in here. And then I can also switch to the gunner. Obviously, I can't shoot because I'm in the protection zone. But, um, yeah, I think um, that's going to do it uh, for this video, guys. Hopefully, um, this video helped you guys out. And um, you guys would understand um, what, I, uh, what I showed you guys in the video and how to set up everything. If you guys have any other 
problems um after watching the video um you guys can join my discord server and i'll, I'll try to help you guys out there as well now um i hope i don't i hope i didn't rush the video too much um so that um i didn't miss anything but um yeah um let me just double check so we so we did this in the settings folder we did set all up well we did set up all of this we did do the vehicles um here and then the other one that we did is in our main content folder you have another folder called vehicles and in here is the blueprints and then we did the faction setups and then we placed the, the spawners into the map so um, yeah i think that's uh, everything to as uh, set up a vehicle spawner for your map or for your mod so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet we're so close to a thousand subscribers we're 140 subscribers away so if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe um i'm planning on bringing up more or, or making more tutorials in the future i know i haven't uploaded in three weeks but um i, I was i've just been busy uh with other stuff and life and all of that but um i um really enjoy you guys um watching the videos and giving it a thumbs up and everything but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one